What's going on guys? Austin Richo here back again with another pop video and this time we have the new wave of Overwatch pops again. I don't remember the wave but obviously it'll be in the title. I assume it's about wave 4 or 5 again. I can't remember because I forget how many we've done of these so far. But this is the newest wave so we've had these for a couple weeks but just trying to find time to have open spots for videos and stuff has been kind of hard. But we're finally getting into them so as you can see here in this wave we've got Genji and Hanzo, and then we'll just kind of slide these along. Then we've got Anna Torbor Torbjorn, I don't know exactly how you say the name, and new Doomfist, which is one of the newer characters added into the game. So we have those five in the normal size pops. And then out of the six inch, we've got this Ar Ariza, Ariza, again, I don't remember her name. I've never um, played the game when, when she was uh, uh, introduced and stuff, so I don't know exactly how you say her name or anything, but it's the, one of the new six inch pops, so it's a, in a much bigger box, as you can see here and everything. So we've got her, and then we also have her exclusive GameStop figure um, of Ariz. Again, I don't know the armor. I wish instead of, you know, just saying Ariz, I wish it would say, like, what their armor is um, with the ex exclusive, because usually when they're exclusive, they're in some sort of special armor or one of their armors f from the game, and so I believe each one has a name, so I wish they would just, like, label them somewhere on there, but this one, yes, yeah, she just looks more of a robot and all, like, covered in stuff, which I believe it's just her, obviously, as, you know, I just said, just covered in like a robot head and everything protecting her face and horns and everything but um, I think she looks really cool so we're gonna get into each or go into each of these so we're gonna open you know each one and look at it um, at all their detail and everything so let's get into it so first up here we're starting with Genji so he's a pretty cool character and always like a fan favorite and stuff from the game so no surprise that we've got him here um, I'm surprised they waited this long because usually you know he's I feel like I feel like he's the most popular character, you know, people may not agree with me and stuff, but I feel he's kind of like the one they use for promotional related stuff, um, so I'm surprised they didn't make him a lot sooner, but here we've got him, so he's like a ninja character, and so we've got his mask up here, and I like this whole green design, but it looks like a knight's helmet almost, like with all the metal and stuff, and these horns that are coming off the top of his head. Um, I like how on the front here, it's like a shiny metallic uh, silver color, like on the front part, but then here on the back, it just gets to a flat gray, I like that whole concept contrast there then on the back here he has one of um i assume that's not his hair and i assume it's like you know the um like uh headdresses or whatever that like ninjas and stuff wear or you know like the ninja turtles have the mask and then they have the um uh, bands like come streaming down off their head and stuff that's what I assume that's to be just like a ribbon type design and stuff there for him and his outfit and stuff then going down we've got his armor here which looks uh, really cool but kind of like a uh, humanoid-ish as well um, as in it looks like with this um, brown color it is um, I think it, it looks brown to me in real life I don't know what it looks like in the camera it looks almost reddish but it looks you know like uh, muscles and stuff like he's got you know missing skin or something but I like the so the armor of like his helmet and stuff continues down onto his chest here so it's got the upper chest coverings and then there's some more underneath there which it's kind of hard to see and then it goes into this white design here so he's got the white all over again with the brown color underneath there and you can see the brown all over the his back and stuff but then the white's be or white is covering the front and I like the green color there I like this like neon green they chose for him it looks really nice and everything and so then in this hand we've got going down he's got a sword and so you can see the sword it's kind of um, at least I assume that's a sword. It looks really weird. So we've got the handle there and then the blade comes back under here which again it's hard to see in the light and so there's a blade but it's really fat blade so I don't know if that's supposed to be a sword or if it's like a knife or something. I don't know. I don't remember. I know he has a sword which there's a sword here on his back which you can see in a sheath and stuff and so there's the sword handle and then you know the sword comes all the way there where this is one is just a real small little thing and I don't remember him having any other weapons it could just be misremembering and stuff but yeah I don't know what weapon he's got there then in his other hand he's got his throwing stars so he um, these little triangles and stuff and he throws those a lot in the game you know as like one of his main moves and stuff so he's got three of them in his fans there it looks kind of like Wolverine and stuff with claws so that looks kind of like how they molded them in between each of the fingers and they're coming through on the inside of the hand and stuff I like how they designed all that and everything and then it's just you know a cool looking character I like you know this white on top I don't remember him wearing brown I thought he was just all like grays and stuff but um, I like the contrast of the brown and the white and stuff I feel the gray would match if it was like this color of gray all the way through but you know it's just whatever design and then again I love that 
uh, green color they threw in there. I just like the way it looks and everything. So that looks really cool. And he does come with a stand. Um, of course, without it, he's he does stand, but his feet are kind of offset. But he does come with a clear stand here, which is weird because not too many male characters come with stands. So I was surprised when I opened this that he did have one. Um, but I feel, you know, with his feet being off the way they are, I'm glad that he did come with a stand and everything. So that's it for Genji. The next up we've got Hanzo, which I do believe is Genji's brother. And so here we've got Hanzo up close. So again, this is what he looks like. You know, he doesn't have a covering or anything like Genji does. But here's a look at his face here. So unlike Genji, you know, that had the mask, you can actually see his face. So there he's, uh, you know, like a human face. And I like his whole beard and stuff they added here with all the, like, squigglies going along. It's funny the way they design and stuff. Then going into his hair. So he's got um, his hair, you know, pulled back into a ponytail, but he's got the bang uh, here in the front. So that swoops out. And Again, it's an additional piece molded on. You can kind of see the seam going around in through there and stuff. And so it's just an additional piece they like glued onto the top here. And so there I like on the sides here. This is a piece added. You know, that's just some hair coming off there. But I like the sideburns and stuff. And I like how it goes from the brown into the grain. So showing his older of age and stuff. And it's got that on both sides. So I like that they did that. Then all his hair, of course, pulled out like, into this ponytail. Into the, you know, hair there. And then it's got the, again, the ribbon tying it up. And it's swooping down there into the back. Then going down. So we've got his outfit here. Which, of course, he's partially covered. Because he's more, I would say, of like a samurai outfit. Where Genji was like a ninja. Um, just by their outfit designs and looks and everything. Um, so here you can see his bare chest and arm on this side, which it's got the dragon uh, tattoo. At least I'm pretty sure it's a dragon. That's what it looks like. And of course he um, is one that can, as one of his specials, whatever, shoots the thing and it sends out... A there's a dragon and a wolf, and I can't remember. I feel he was the wolf, but since he's got dragons on his arm, he may be a dragon, but... Obviously, it doesn't really matter. I just know one of them does one and one does the other between him and Genji, I think. Or it could just be their different, uh, uh, could just all be Hanzo and just his different, you know, forms and stuff of outfits and everything that you can get. And so here he is in his outfit here. So here's, a, we'll start with his uh, bow. And so you can see he's got a bow and arrow and everything. So I like the blue and gold bow here. So I like the gold um, designs on it and then the blue in general. And then it's got... Um, I would think maybe a scope or something. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be, but it could just be some sort of additional weapon on there, you know, that he can use, um, or it could just be a scope or just some sort of detail. Um, but then going into his armor here, so he's got um, this cool design here on his arm. Again, it's hard to see with all the light and stuff, but he's got that cool design there on his arm, and then he's just in, you know, like a samurai, like clothy outfit. So it's just, you know, like a loose fitting uh, outfit there. Um, then he's got, you know, like a leather glove on that hand, of course, pulling back the bow and stuff. It's hard to see underneath all of this. Um, then he's got a belt on with some design. It's got a little ball here. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it's attached to a blue rope. And then you can see more of the detail. It's hard to see right in there off of his shirt and everything. Then it goes into his pants where he's got these um, pants and then boots that have the metal and stuff. So they got the split toes and everything like the ninja shoes and stuff so it looks really cool then on the back we've got a um of course though i forget what they call them but a holster thing for arrows so you can see the arrow uh, feathers and stuff in there tied onto his back then he's got the belt tied around him with the blue belt with uh dangling down there in the back the ribbon part or extra material hanging down there which looks cool and adds detail to it and so i like this character overall just the color mixtures and stuff of the blue and with the black and then all his uh, tattoo designs and everything i just like all the way it um, goes together and the colors and everything it just looks really cool so that's going to be it for hanzo then next up we've got anna so this is a character i've never played as so i don't know much about her but she is a sniper as you can see there with her long rifle there um so it's pretty cool looking character i like her outfit and everything so here she is and she's got her um, hood up it looks like she's got multiple hoods maybe but she's got a hood up on her outfit so it comes up over her and it's just a flat gray again but I like the silver like little accents here on top of it then underneath she's got a blue cloth again I don't know if it's another hood or if it's just the thing wrapped around her head but she's got a blue cloth you know all the way around her head and then it goes into like a headband here with an eye patch as well so you can see the eye patch band there and then it covers up her eye so she's lost an eye somehow and then she got some of her hair sweeping down in front of it, you know, to help kind of 
cover it up and stuff so it's not, you know, during conversations people don't just stare at it the whole time. But I like the way that looks with the gray and the blue. I like that color mixture there. And then we've got her face here. So as you can see, she's got one eye showing and she has some, like, tattooing around it and stuff. And then I like the white eye. So she must have white hair because of the this part and then the um, eyebrow and stuff. So she must have all white hair and stuff. And then going down into her outfit again, this looks real cool. I like the mixture of the white or the whitish color gray and blue and stuff. It just looks really nice. So there you can see her gun as we, I pointed out earlier. It's like a long rifle and stuff. Probably a sniper and stuff. So I like the silver tip and then the blue designs on it. Then we've got her coat here. So it's a blue. It looks like a cream color. Like it's a off-white. Um, like a yellowish white maybe. But I think it looks nice. And then with the gray design. Um, it's like a brownish gray here compared to like this. this is like pure gray. This has like a brown tint to it. And then the blue you know, accents again going on to it and stuff. As you can see there on her gloves. Got the little Overwatch logo there which is cool. Um, same on the other side. And then inside she just looks like she's wearing an all gray outfit. Which you know matches like this um, gray hood and stuff. So that's probably the hood of that. She's got a like looks like a bandolier type thing. So she has some weapons there or some grenades or something with um, yellow on them and then she's got a belt it looks like with some more pockets and stuff maybe some sort of uh, covering there in the front that has some extra stuff then going she's got knee pads there that are blue that look really nice and then into her shoes that again are the mixture of the flat gray the brown color and um, they have like extra padding there on the top that looks nice and everything with the cream color on the bottom. So that looks nice overall. And again, she does have a base here, which um, without the base, she did have trouble standing because as you can see, her one foot there is completely off and the other foot's even kind of leaning forward and stuff. But it, when it's on the base and you can pose it that way and it'll hold her up, it looks like she's walking because, you know, with one foot being off the ground and everything, it looks really nice. So that's going to be it for Anna. Then next up, we got a fun character here of Torbjorn, and so this is a fun little guy. And just look at him; it reminds me of like a Santa Claus or something, just because of the beard and everything. But let's take a look at him, starting at his face. So there you can see his old grizzle-looking face and stuff. So he's got the long blonde beard here and stuff. Of course, that's uh, separated in the two with these little knots on it, um, like the dwarfs from uh, Lord of the Rings and stuff is what it reminds me of. And he is a short person, so he could be a dwarf. Uh, you never know. Um, and so I like his whole beard design and mustache. So it looks like he's got the curly mustache and everything. Big giant nose, which usually pops, you know, just has a little tiny nose. But this time they added the big fat nose, which looks really nice. I like the way that looks and designed and everything. Then we've got his normal eye and then a covered up eye. So he has an eye patch as well, but it's got this um, piece of metal covering it as well with the circles of yellow there. Then he's got big giant eyebrows, which look funny. And then going into his helmet here, so he's got, you know, just a head covering here of a flat gray again. But then he's got what looks like a welder's mask on top here, so you can see the mask there. So there's the visor, of course, and then just the mask that would slide down. And so we've got the parts attached there, so you know, it could slide up and down, obviously, to pop. And it doesn't do that, but that would be pretty cool. Um, there's a bit of an issue, though, with this character. His head comes off kind of because of just the way his beard's designed so it's kind of like pushing on the front and then he's got this backpack on here with these um I don't know what you'd call them, but these like things just pushing, pull, uh, sticking off the back that's kind of pushing his head forward. So his head doesn't really pop onto the joint very well, which is kind of an issue. Uh, but go ahead and start, I guess, with the backpack there. So you can see his backpack again, all sorts of stuff going on. I don't know exactly what it is. Then it's hard to see, but up on his arm, he does have a tattoo, but again, the head's covering it, so you can't really see. Then it goes into a glove holding the hammer. So he's got his hammer here, um, which looks uh, really nice into detail and design and everything. So he's got the giant metal hammer there then in his other hand he's got a robotic hand so he's got this you know giant robot hand with the like claw on it so he's got a claw there as you can see which looks really cool and everything then going underneath he's got a metal chest plate on as you can kind of see under the beard there it looks just like a piece of armor and then he's got a belt and then this uh, thing sticking out says ironclad 07 or 07 ironclad with some little white details coming off of it he's got multiple a couple of those around him on his belt Looks like nothing anywhere on the back of that though. And then he's got these metal boots that have some red details up on the top. And then just like metal, um, very thick metal boots. Um, which of course if you're working with iron, metal and iron and stuff you don't want stuff falling on your foot. So it's probably steel toed obviously with that design and they look really cool. And he's got two of those obviously because he's got two feet. Um, no peg legs or anything for him. And then he comes with a little turret here so as a little turret guy. Um, obviously it's not a guy, it's just a turret that you can put with him. And so it just sits next to him. It's just a nice little accessory that comes with him with the turret stuff. So that looks really cool. So that's going to be it for Torbjorn. 
And our last normal size pop here is Doomfist. So again, this is another one of the newer characters that has been introduced since I've stopped playing. Um, and so he looks really cool though. Um, pretty plain and basic, but it still looks really nice. So here we go. We've got to look him up here. So of course, as you can see, he is a black guy. So he's got the dark skin all over. And by the design, you could say, you know, he's got like, you know, maybe like a tribal African design because of the war paint and then like the skirting and stuff design he's got going on. But you never know. Um, so here, of course, is a look at his face. And so again, he's got the war paint design on his face of white here. So he's got the white stripe going across and then parts coming off of his little I assume to be visor um, thing coming off over here um, but I like that design it's kind of rough painted but I like the way they did that because it looks um, you know like it would be tribally you know painted on and stuff just with a finger or something I like the way that looks then going over here he's got these red um, like things into his head so he must be some sort of like cyborg related thing and so he's got these little notches going into his head and stuff that attach there and then that goes into this Again, I don't know what this is because, like I said, I've never seen him in the game, so I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. But he's got these things attached to his ear with a black strap here on the back, then a silver one up. So I would assume it maybe just folds forward and covers up his face, you know, just like a lower face cover, you know, like from here. But I don't know if that's it for sure. And just by the design, you know, it looks like it would, you know, fold forward and cover about there and stuff. But it looks cool. Then going down into his body, so it continued on with the body design. He does have some more, like, um, markings or indentions and stuff there on his chest. You know, similar to probably like this stuff. So I don't know what's going on with him. But as you can obviously notice, he does have a giant robot fist here and stuff. So it looks like it's, you know, attached to his body. So it's covering part of his um, chest here. Going into his shoulder, which I like the horns they put on it and stuff on the shoulders. Then you can see some of his arm underneath there. So his skin and stuff. So it must not be, you know, fully robotic arm. Oh, you can see it there on the back. It like covers most of his back too. The silver or the gold and black there. But then you can see this piece, you know, of like uh I want to say like spine, but obviously it's on his arm, so it's just like, you know, probably piece of, uh, to keep his arm stable and stuff, and then it goes into the giant fist here, which looks pretty cool, which obviously I assume is how he got the name Doom Fist, but it looks awesome, the giant fist there, as you can see, it's got these spikes on the top of it, then it's just a giant oversized hand, and I assume it's punches and probably extends that shoots out and stuff, all sorts of cool things going on there, but that looks awesome. Then going to his other arm, he's got, you know, more of the tribal paintings on, and again, the horns on his arm, which looks cool. And then on this side, he's just got um, some fist covering. It looks like they're inserted into his hand, maybe, because of the red there. They're indented red. Um, but then he's got, you know, like brass knucks on attached to his knuckles and stuff. There, then going down, he's got a belt on here. And so it's got like a piece of cloth wrapped around his waist there and then it goes down into the back to be like a loincloth design there. But I think it looks cool. Then he's got some white pants on. I like the red or the green accent under there too to go along with it. Then we've got his feet again. He's got, um, they're like feet or shoe coverings but you can see his part of his leg here and then the top of his toes. So it's not complete coverings but it's just, you know, pieces of metal that again are attached to his feet and stuff just to probably give him some extra stability and support and like probably help with running and just walking in general. I don't know if he was like a paralyzed guy or something or what happened, but it just looks really cool. So again, for a new character, again, I don't know a whole lot about him or anything, but that's going to be it for Doomfist. And now we've got our six inch pop of oh, Orisa Ariza. Again, I don't know how to, I just say Orisa, but I don't know exactly how you say the name um, for sure and stuff, but this looks really cool. And so again, this is a six inch, so it's bigger than normal. Just to show you size comparison, we've got Doomfist here to sit next to her so you can see the size difference of the pops uh, but this looks really cool again I don't know what this is supposed to be it's like a centaur almost because it's got the four legs like a horse um, but then it's you know got like a face and hands and everything but it looks like a robot overall just because of the insides and then the hands and feet and everything it just looks like it's pretty much just a robot um so it must be some sort of like alien robot race or something but i like the face here so we'll start the face so again i like this yellow orange and green like mixture it looks really nice and then the um, different colors of like the neon green with just the um less neon green it just looks really nice so we've got her face or eyes um so it looks like she's got some gold eyes here with some yellow like triangle or like arrow designs designed on it. those are supposed to be like her happy eyes or what they are but it looks really cool and again i like this yellow design here then she's got a gold part of her helmet up here on top and then silver metallic uh, silver here on the back which looks nice then coming out of the gold we've got her horns here um which look 
like they may be extra attachments, not really sure, but I like these horns, these green color horns again with the neonish yellow green in there, which looks really nice. I like these giant horns, they look pretty cool. Then she got her other half of her face, which is orange, and it's got this metallic stuff, and then some white paint on her face there. Then going down, we've got her robot body. Or I assume it's a her. I don't even know if it's a her, but I think it is, but you never know. Um, we got her robot body here, and you can see with skin, it's got this cream color, mostly design all over it. Um, but then it's got some silver and gold going in here. I like this brown color here going into her arms and stuff. She's got a normal robot looking arm on there, again with the green and stuff that looks cool. Then on the other arm, she's got a a gun so you can see the gun I like this gold design in there and then you can see the gun it looks like a Gatlin gun type design which looks really cool inside so be a cool fit, uh, hand to have then from going down we got her legs and so she's got this uh, cloth here with the design I like this like triangle design you know with the little triangles and stuff it just looks really nice but it's like a piece of cloth and so you know got the little um, uh, tattered things here at the bottom and stuff looks nice but still continue on with the cream color into the brown again all the metallic uh, silver robot pieces and stuff going on there as well and then we turn to the side and we go into her back legs and so she's got four legs as I mentioned and you can see from the bottom they do look like hooves of a horse and you can see more of the robot uh, stuff underneath there as you can see and then the legs continue on with the brown and the cream color then it's got that design again and the green uh, design on her legs there again I like that color and I like the green design then she's got what looks to be like a backpack or something on back here with um, some sort of I don't know if that's supposed to be like a engine or something but because from the side it looks you know like uh, thruster I don't know what you'd call them but like engines and stuff so like stuff you know fire would shoot out or something as she's trying to like beat up and go or something but it's got like this brown strap up to the back you know like holding it up so it looks really nice again I don't know what's going on with this character so I have no clue what most of this stuff is if that could be like or one of her weapons or something don't really know but it looks really nice overall so that's it for just the plain Orissa. And now we've got the GameStop exclusive version of Orissa. And again, this looks much more robotic. And I like the way it looks overall. I think I like the other one a little more. But this one looks cool as well. So here we've got her head covered up with this mask here. So you can see it's a, got the circle with the four dots of yellow going on there. I assume it would just be like the where she sees out and stuff. But then it's got the white and then dark uh, gray, metallic gray design going into it all around over here and stuff. Then her horns instead are like, look like two guns now off the side of her head, which I think that's why I like the other one more is the horns, because that's really, you know, a big pronounced uh, thing. Um, so I think I like the way that looks. With this, they look just more like guns and stuff. And then it's a much pale or a darker green color. Um, it's not as bright and stuff, and I like the bright green color. Then go down, we've got her chest here. It's hard to see. I don't know if I can get it. But you can see OR, it looks like 1-5, but I assume it's to be the Orisa, O-R-I-S. Of course it's O-R-I-S-A, but I don't really know for sure. Maybe it's just like her name or something, or like her coding or something, not really sure. But then we've got the robot pieces here of the white and continued on. Same sort of hand, so she's got a normal robotic looking hand on this side, but again they changed the color. So we've got like a dark a gold and then a normal gold there. So again, I like the color changes. We've got this just now, it's like a square designer diamond shape on the arms and everything. For this one, again, I don't know what this whole robot, or this look to her is for and stuff. Continues on to this side, then going into the gun there, and you can see the green accents and stuff I really like on this gun. I think I like the look of this gun more, but I like overall the body on the normal one better. And then going down to the legs again, we've got some of the gold again in that dark gray color, metallic gray in there. Then the green going on to the feet there instead of um, like the brown colors and stuff. We've got the green going on to the four legs and then her back design here, this thing, is mostly all of the dark gray and then it's got the white accents again with the yellowish green insides and stuff of whatever that's supposed to be and the strap is now or I assume the BS strap or whatever is now white and everything. Again, I don't know what to say much about these because I have no clue what's going on with this. I've only seen the character, like when it was released, I saw, you know, video of it and stuff, but I have absolutely no clue anything else what's going on. And so, um, kind of just new and different, but interesting at the same time. And I need to get on over watching again to play as these new characters, stuff to know more about them. 
But that is going to be it for this set. This was our last figure out of this wave. Again, whatever wave it is will be labeled as the video and stuff. Um, I want to say it's like four or five. It could be either one of those. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which character out of this set is your favorite. Like who you like to play as the most of and everything. And don't forget to subscribe to see more Funko videos on our channel. And we will see you next time.